Trade-off questions are generally the most difficult of the three types of execution questions. And especially if you don't have a background coming from a, a big consumer tech company where you're exposed to this like heavy data-driven decision-making every day, this won't feel as natural to you. Uh, if you follow the framework we lay out in the simple execution questions, that'll help you a ton. But I want to cover the two most common mistakes people make. The first one is that people are just far too wishy-washy in their answers. Um, people often recommend, you know, they'll say like, oh, you know, well, I'll ask the analyst about this data, or I'll do this research and all this and that. But fundamentally, their answer boils to, I'll make a gut decision. You know, I'll look at the trade-off and I'll decide that three units of this thing is worth one unit of this thing, and that's it, ship it. That's not acceptable, no, not at all. The goal of this interview is less for you to make a decision, but for you to articulate how you might decide. And that is very important. As a product manager at a place like Facebook, especially the more senior you become, the less and less you'll be involved with every single decision. And the more and more your role is to sort of describe the way to think, to empower everyone on the team and to set up the structure so that everyone can make the right decisions. The test I have for this interview is when I walk away from your interview, I need to be confident if I gave what you told me to an engineer, they would 100% for sure make the right decision. And that is critical. Um, if you aren't familiar with this, you're gonna to have to practice a lot. I really have a very high standard for yourself with a level of rigor that's expected. The second most common mistake is that people wanna to jump to the complexities right away without really understanding the fundamentals well enough. Um, so often like in the people you may know case, people are like, oh, well, you know, we should do something different for new users versus people who have been around for a little while or, um, we could do all these sophisticated things. We could run this machine learning model or take into account all these different things. Those are all fine, but you need to first have a really crisp understanding of what the trade-off is and what is it that you're maximizing? What is the unified goal? That is absolutely, absolutely critical. So kind of hold off on the complexity and first get total clarity of thought on the trade-off and the goal. If you do these two simple things and you practice this on your own, you will 100% be able to nail every trade-off question, every time. This course is brought to you by Candor, helping tech professionals get paid